Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I am Tidra Chanel, long time no see. So I know it has been a really long time since you guys have seen me and I wanted to just make this really quick video to give you guys life updates. It has been a minute. So for those of you who have been around for any length of time, y'all may have noticed that I have been relatively MIA for like the last two years. Now, I have posted here and there very sporadically over the last couple of years, but it really just boils down to me being extremely busy. I was working a full-time job and I was working like 70, 60 to 70 hour a week. And I really just not, I really just didn't have the time to sit down, record, edit all the things and post here on YouTube. So I'm back <laughs> and believe it or not, I feel like the times I do show up on camera or the video is of me telling y'all I moved. Like, and yes, I moved. <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come on, man. <laughs> I moved again. So I'm pretty sure that I told y'all at some point that I did move to Nashville at the very end of 2022 and um was staying in a high-rise apartment in downtown nashville and then um i lost my job oh my god it's because it broke oh my god <laughs> fail so just a really brief synopsis of as to what happened right so y'all know i work in multifamily, and i mean you don't but you do now uh, working multifamily and I was working at this community I was working where I lived and we had this manager who was ass like she completely sucked and so I had to take on the role I had to take on like multiple roles um, there was at one one point in time where I was the most tenured person on the leasing team because the manager came in and she was still really really new to the company and she really didn't try for real so there was this file that she pretty much fucked up on but by the time the fuck up was noticed um by this time she had been fired and i think maybe a month prior to this she was fired maybe six weeks something like that and because i was <laughs> there at the time um I was just collateral damage pretty much because I didn't have shit to do with none of it and um, I didn't do anything wrong so I was let go um, because of that which I'm still really really salty about so when you work in multifamily um, even though I lived there before I started working there when you work in multifamily if you leave the company whether you quit or you get fired they make you move out of your unit um, within seven days. I'm just not ready for all of this. It's just... <sighs> Do you know you have 30 minutes? That's what it felt like. 30, 30, yes. 30, it felt like 30 freaking minutes. And so I'm like in panic mode. I'm like, what the fuck? For one, I'm pissed that I lost my job for some shit I didn't even do. I didn't have shit to do with that. It had nothing to do with me. Number one. That girl that said I was fired, what was it? Gross misconduct. That's what you are. You full of Now take that to the bank and cash that damn check. Bitch, what? <laughs> I had never been written up. I busted my ass. As a matter of fact, I was promoted, number one leasing, all the things. I did all of the things right. But because somebody else fucked up and they weren't there to get in trouble for it, then it fell on me. But anyway, so I had to, to move. Um, I am kind of glad because I needed to move. I really wasn't happy in the building anymore. It was just too much going on. Um, but honestly, I don't think I would have moved anytime soon had I not been forced to do so. 
So, um, so I immediately I go into panic mode and I'm like, how in the hell am I going to find a place in seven days for me and my three children to live where I'm comfortable, where I feel like me and my kids are safe, like all the 30 minutes, girl, it was 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, there was ebbs and flows, ups and downs throughout the whole process. Um, the very first place I applied for, I was denied. The book. Uh, and then the second place, I was approved, um, and I applied sight unseen, right? Because I have 30 minutes, right? So I'm rushing. Um, I think I applied. It was a. It was the middle of the day, but it was raining, and the realtor didn't have time. You know, it was just too short of notice, whatever, whatever. So I went ahead and I applied, and I was approved for it. But I applied for I applied for this place based on the ad, based on right the pictures, girl. So then this was a Saturday. So then on Monday, uh, me and my oldest we went to tour it, ma'am. Oh my god! What the fuck is this? What was in the ad? The pictures on Facebook were not said pictures. The description was jacked, like n none of it. It was presented as a brand new townhome, corner unit, um, all white everything, white countertops, white cabinets, brand new construction is how this was presented. We go and, you know, I'm parking and I'm noticing that the number, the address, is of a interior unit. So meaning there's units on, on both sides. Red flag number one, the trash cans were like right, like right here, like right in the front of the stairs of the townhome. It was flies everywhere, turn off. I didn't like the area. I'd never been to the area before. Remember this was sight and seen. So then the realtor gets there and she was like, oh, well, let me just check and make sure that they're not here. I said, they who? <laughs> who? And she says, oh, the people, um, they, they should be out. And I'm like, okay, well, it's brand new construction. Um, so I'm thinking vendors, vendor, maybe cleaners are in there, I, you know. Um, so she walks in. And she's like, okay, yeah, they're gone. But then when I walk in behind her, I notice that there's furniture. And I'm like, why is this furniture here? And I guess she could just read my face. And she was like, oh, well, um, the owner is going to leave that unless you just don't want it. And I'm like, who wants this Ikea looking? It ain't even a cute Ikea, girl. It's, it's the clearest all the way in the back Ikea furniture. Who wants it? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So within maybe 45 seconds of us walking in and looking in the kitchen, somebody screams from the top floor. Is that you, Ashley? And I'm like, who the fuck is that? I said, hold on. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> oh, she was like, oh, yeah, that's me. But then she looked at me and I'm I'm. So so me and my daughter were confused and she was like oh well they've only been here a little bit and they're moving out today child the whole ad was cap okay it was cap and i'm immediately turned off but remember i have 30 minutes so this is monday and i have to be out the next day because tuesday was a week and so i'm thoroughly confused like my brain couldn't even process what was going on. So I'm really, really upset. So me and my daughter would leave. And my daughter was like, it, it, I mean, it is a nice place, but I just didn't. The, my favorite part about it was a two-car garage. Like, no, I didn't feel safe. I didn't like the energy of it, whatever. So then um, we go and we get some brunch. And then I call another realtor that I briefly spoken to a few days prior about a home brand new brand new allegedly brand new construction five bad five bedrooms three and a half bathrooms but the only thing was 
it was like 22-ish minutes away from downtown, okay? And I wanted to be close to downtown just because um, that's where most of the work opportunities are, downtown. And I didn't want to be too, too far. So I immediately checked out and I scratched that one off the list because it's too far. But then I'm like, oh my God, 30 minutes. I got 30 minutes. So let me call this person, like this realtor again. I called her. I asked if we could come to the community to check it out. And she said, absolutely. So we drove here. The drive wasn't as bad as I had made it up in my head to be. Um, drove here. I had to go to the model um, because it is truly new construction. We toured the home. I actually really liked the home. Again, I, I at this point, I don't have any options, right? Um, so I went home, I applied for it a couple of days later. I was approved and this, I am sitting in the house right now. So, uh, I'm going to go more into the manifestation part of it. Cause I did have to manifest this shit. I had to for real, for real. Uh, but I'll talk about that more on my podcast, but I just wanted to come on and give y'all just say, Hey, first and foremost, hope you're well, <laughs> first and foremost, um, but then also give y'all a couple of updates. So I have been in my for a minute um, and I really have to get to posting on YouTube again, getting back in the algorithm uh, again. So I've decided to no longer post vlog ish or vlog IRL content on this channel. Y'all know that this channel started out as me teaching law of attraction spirituality manifestation tips and strategies and so it's going to return to being just that and only that it will not be an all things teacher chanel channel um so i have a couple more channels um one with vlog type content um and then another one is just going to be strictly for my podcast because y'all know i was also posting my podcast i was posting everything on this on this channel and I think that's part of the reason it died because people don't like to switch up right people don't like to switch up even when I'm watching somebody and then they transition into a different type of content it's a turn off I get it um so podcasts vlogs and um, I want to start doing reactions now I have to figure out how logistically to do it how to have a camera how to have me on the screen and the thing that I'm reacting to I know it's not that hard but I'm making it very very difficult in my head but I want to start reacting to um spiritual content like rituals going wrong it's not funny but it's funny right it's not funny but it's funny not 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 the serious ones where people have been like really messed knocked out. I'm talking about the ones that have some comedy, something you could chuckle to. Um, just because I find that content to be so interesting and almost you know, even the ghost stories, I love supernatural, paranormal, like all the things. I want to start reacting. So that'll be a whole nother none of those channels will be blurred. There will all be separate channels. I will have them all linked down in the what is it called? The description below so make sure y'all follow me on tiktok the teacher chanel i'm over there now that's why i post a little bit of everything now i just refuse to have multiple tiktoks of me and my life and my businesses and all the things like hell no nah, it's all things t chanel over there okay so follow me on tiktok that's where i am the the most i hope you guys are doing well huh i hope you guys welcome me back uh, I hope you guys are happy to see me back. I have received DMs, okay? I was receiving DMs and people commenting on really old videos saying, girl, like, where you at? Where's T? I'm still here. Okay. Um, so, with that being said, if there's anything that you guys want me to cover here on this channel, by all means, put it down in the comments. If you are back, if you are still with me, put an emoji in the chat. Y'all remember our old emoji that we, we would use? Who remember? Who remembers? It was the meditating girl. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, peace.